Hey, guess who I actually had a very productive conversation with today? Headmaster Charleston. You're kidding. No, and I think we came up with a solution to our application anxiety. You want to hear it? I guess. Well, we spent the first 10 minutes on him bugging me to volunteer for more stuff at school or in lieu of that to make a donation to build the new basketball court, and then another couple of minutes of me convincing him that what sounded like me going, ha, was really me clearing my throat. But after that, we had a very pleasant, productive conversation. And? He suggested setting up a meeting with a Harvard graduate, like a dinner or something. He even gave him the number of someone he knows. An alumni dinner? Yes, exactly. Do they do that? According to Charleston, it's done all the time. Wow. Yeah, it would be an opportunity to talk with someone who's been through it all and did it successfully. You can ask questions, he can give some perspective. It seems perfect. Sounds a little weird. Yeah, a little, but I'll go with you. And what's the worst that can happen? We're bored and we blow a meal. But if this person can help, then that's a good thing, right? I do have some questions, a lot of questions. Well. Well, let's call him. Now? Yes, yes, there's no time like the present. Come on. His name is Darren Springsteen of Westport, Connecticut, Harvard class of 74. <gasps> ask if he has a brother named Bruce. I'm not gonna ask him that. It's ringing. <laughs> Why'd you hang up? I'm not good at these things. Did he answer? Yes. Yes? Rory, that's a really terrible first impression. Uh-oh. Him? Maybe. He star 69 us? No, the Harvard people can afford all the latest technology. Answer. Hey, you've reached Suffragette City, and if you're calling about Lane Kim's ad, sorry we're not in, but don't commit rock and roll suicide. Just crank a message at the feedback. Oh, jeez. Well, if he is related to Bruce, he could dig it. Hey, my name's Dave Rogalski. I'm calling about the ad. I left my number before, so call when you get a chance. Where's my phone? Relax, I'm coming. Let's try this again. Can we please just do this later? No, let's get it done now. It's ringing. Let's do it later. It's ringing. I'm gonna say the wrong thing or have the wrong tone in my voice. I'm not in good first impression mode right now. Ah. Hello. Hello, um, this is Rory Gilmore. I believe you were expecting my call. Um, oh well, this is such a wonderful opportunity for me. Whatever's good for you would be great for me. Not so breathy. That's how chickens talk. Lunch? Oh, yes. Let me just check my organizer. Oh, perfect. My mother will be there, too. She's terrific. All right. I'll see you this weekend. Bye. You're no Danny Gans. I never claimed to be. He's going to be expecting Chilton High School senior Trixie McBimbo. And her mother, Bambi McBimbo. But I guess it can't hurt, right? It can only help. OK. And look, if it's a total bust, we'll grab a pole, and Trixie and Bambi will take it on the road. That's something to put on your application, huh? That'll set you apart. Thanks, Mom. Bye, Trixie.